Well, Norway's first female ambassador to the United States stopped by Decorah, Iowa to embrace the partnership and honor Norwegian culture. And our own Carly Swisher got a chance to stop by yesterday and meet with the ambassador. Carly? That's right, Dustin. Anakin Krutnus spent time at Vesterheim, which is the National Norwegian American Museum and Folk Art School. Organizers and local residents gathered to hear from the ambassador and partake in some fun festivities, all to strengthen the ongoing relationship between our two countries. It's, it's fantastic. Uh, this is my first travel uh, as ambassador to the Midwest. Anakin Krutnus is the first woman to be Norway's ambassador to the United States. She has this incredibly impressive re resume with uh, studies in, and degrees in economics and law. But she truly is a genuine person who is such a great role model for women. The Norwegian ambassador making a trip Thursday to Vesterheim, the National Norwegian American Museum and Folk Art School in the small town of Decora, Iowa. They have a fantastic collection of Norwegian uh, art. Everybody uh, seeks their roots. Uh, we all need some grounding to know where we come from. But it also goes to, to the values and who we are. And, and Norway and U.S. work together on a lot of issues. And that is because we have a common history and, and we share values. So I think it's important to continue that. Shared values, the chair of Vesterheim's Board of Trustees, says are rooted in freedom and democracy. These are the values that we want to preserve along with the traditions and history that we have with Norway. Traditions like Decorah's Nordic dancers, who performed for Ambassador Krutnus and local residents. So we start in third grade, and then you have to try out, and then you have to be there till you're a senior. What do you think of the Norway's ambassador watching you? Um, I was cool. nervous. <laughs> yeah. It was cool. <laughs> oh, they're great. They're fantastic. When I was young, I used to dance folk dance as well, uh, but they know more dances than I did. They're good. Decorah's Nordic dancers are a mix of school-aged kids who perform folk dances of Scandinavia. Obviously, Decorah is a Norwegian-Scandinavian community, so the dancers promote that culture. And it's kind of nice to have that, especially during Nordic Fest, which is coming up at the end of the month. But the festivities also honor their Norwegian heritage by bringing the tight-knit community together once again. The music and people coming back for the, the celebrations that you haven't seen. It's like a homecoming. Some people are so enthusiastic about the Norwegian heritage and, and they're doing such a good job uh, in, in keeping those good Norwegian-American relations strong. Decorah's Nordic dancers will be performing again at Nordic Fest, which takes place July 28th through the 30th in Decorah. And Dustin Vesterheim is currently working on a construction project for a new welcome center. All right, thanks, Carly. I'm swelling with Norwegian pride right now. And that project is expected to be completed in early 2023.